Hi, I thought I'd do another video for anybody that's interested. This is the second project that I've made by Robert Brown. Um, his other project was uh, my focuser. It's an ASCOM controlled focuser. And this one is a dew heater. It's a three channel dew heater, um, Arduino based. Um, uh, it's also got temperature and humidity sensor so it'll track dew point and control three dew heaters. The dew heater itself I've made out of nichrome wire. Um, it's there, I don't know if you can see it inside that. I've incorporated into the dew heater it's temperature sensor as well so this temperature sensor goes just near the heater and then it can monitor how much heat this is putting into your equipment and control it if it were actually inside the heater it would be measuring the heat this was giving off rather than the heat that was in your equipment I've also put a little LED in there as well so you can tell when it's switched on put it all into one wire so it's neat and tidy and then onto these little five pin connectors this one at the ends of four pin that's for the temperature and humidity sensor uh, on the front we've got a, an OLED screen that I've put some red, red gel um, sheet on so that it lights up red rather than bright white uh, we've got two switches these are um, override switches so you can put 100% power to your um, tube heaters if you wanted to you know if you're getting any steaming up or anything uh, and then just some LEDs to tell when different channels are turned on or off uh, power switch and on this end we've got a fuse just in case uh, 12 volt supply and the USB connection a um, little bit on the dew heaters the Nikro wire it's um, different thicknesses different resistances so using the power of Ohm's law you can work out how much heat that wire will give off for a specific voltage and um, there's a few calculators online but I find this one really simple rapid tables um, you only need to enter two values so you, what I did was I looked online and saw what other manufacturers were doing for their dew straps you know say for instance a 14 inch telescope one would be 25 watts and one for a, an 80 mil scope would be six watts. So from that you can pretty much work out what what you should be putting, um, what wattage you should be putting on. So if you say for instance you wanted 10 watts, you type that in, you know your voltage, that's 12 volts. And then just click calculate. That gives you 14.4 ohms, so that'd be 0.8 amps it'd, um, you'd be putting through it. So you'd need 14 ohms wire, that's 13.6 ohms a meter, the 0.32 mil wire, which is near as damn it, the right amount. If you, I mean, if you reset that, you could, you could just work out what a meter of that wire was exactly. So it's 13.6. And then you've got your 12 volts. And calculate. Why is it not working? There you go. So that'd be 10.58 watts, which is as near to 10 watts as you can get. Um, right, the dew strap, so how I made it, it's using this some webbing, um, then the nichrome wire, which I put some heat shrink on, because it obviously does conduct, so you need to insulate it against electricity. Um, just leave the ends bare. You can't solder nichrome, so you have to um, 
just used some clamp terminals on each end. Then I just rolled up a bit of tin file. So my thinking is that it'll just reflect the heat back onto what you're trying to heat up rather than out into the night. Uh, and then some adhesive cloth tape. St stuck it all together with that. And then I just put spray glue on this webbing to stick the, um, the strap to that. You can see from this one that Velcro's good. You can see the the wire inside the strap there, look. What I did was I just got two two nails, 40 millimetres apart, and then just wrapped wrapped the wire along to get that to get that shape. Um, if you say if you need a meter of wire for your heater, then you divide that by 40, a thousand millimetres, divide it by 40 millimetres, and that'll tell you how many of these zigzags will be in your metre length. And then if your entire strap needs to be, say, 500 millimetres long to wrap around your scope, you you just set it, your concertina wire, set it out so it's 500 mil long, and then just stick it straight onto your uh, backing. That's it, dual strap made. Well, pretty much, apart from wiring it up. Um, right, so on this we've got a, a 12 volt input and USB wire which is right so there's a Windows program so you can control it all via your telescope uh, via your computer sorry not your telescope um, I'll show you how that works right when you first switch it on it sensors how many juice traps are connected together uh, uh, connected together connected to it so it'll only operate those parts that have a juice trap connected um, also uh, right if we scroll through the pages it tells you that this is the sensor that's giving off the giving the humidity in the ambient this way while it comes back round PCB temp is a, there's a little temp sensor on the PCB. You can fit a fan into these, but I decided not to bother because I've mounted my MOSFETs onto the casing. I've just insulated them and mounted them onto the casing. It's aluminium box, so that should heat sink the heat easily. Um, let's have a look. Right. Uh, the temperature probe is that one that's saying 22.5 channel 1 temp that's this one so that's going to measure the um, the heat that your juice strap's giving off the little LED's lit up there to tell you that it's turned on so the windows program Part seven, Let's see, and then connect. There, yeah, that'll reboot. Sensors, probes, one, yep. Yeah. PCB probe, yep. Yeah. So you can you can either control it from here, it'll track ambient or dew point or midpoint and it'll switch your straps on and off as required. Um you, you can also set a bias or an offset to um your temp probes. If your temp probes aren't aren't reading very accurately, you can calibrate those from inside software and it'll remember that calibration. So well, that's pretty much it, a great project to make, thanks for looking.